this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for the month of November. And this is the theme. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Expect miracles. Expect them because they're coming. I have actually cut this card so many times. I love it. Uh, so really, this is all about the jingle dresses. Dance to your own tune. Speak to spirit. When you're dancing, speak to spirit. But this is what I need. This is what I want. This is what I, I would make me happy. I think if spirit sees you communing in that innocence, um, your opportunities are going to be even bigger. You do have the birch tree teaching, though, that also says to walk in humility always and in love. So just earlier, I was talking about the seven ancestors teaching. So I'm going to say that's going to, those are two of the teachings that you'll need to follow Pisces of the ancestors. Um, so this is for Pisces sun, moon, and ascendant for the month of November. And it's for love. Let's see. Uh, there is definitely something in the there is a fly in the ointment. Something isn't right. I do see love. I do see kindness. I do see um, that kind of energy. But I see something happening about something from the past or maybe a lover from the past or something like that. Maybe returning or coming into your energy field. And if you're involved in a relationship, that might cause uh, a little bit of uh, a kerfuffle for you. And or it could also be that the partner, if you've been with them for a long time, there could be a situation that's occurring that's making them think about something from the past that could bring up some uncomfortable situations, I'm sorry to say. However, I do see some really wonderful cards at the end of the day um, for those of you that, you Pisces that have been single, I'm going to say you're going to meet someone. If you're a female Pisces, uh, you're going to meet someone really wonderful with a lot of leadership and kindness and a good man, a kind man. So I like that. And if you're with someone like that and there's a bit of a situation going on, it's I'm being told to tell you to hold on to that relationship and do what you can to resolve whatever issues they are. If you are in or have been feeling abandoned Pisces, if you've been feeling as if you're not getting the love, you're single Pisces, you're not getting the love, um, I don't know, here it comes. All I can say is no matter what, whether you're with someone or not, I see love finding you this month. And if even if it's only lots of good friends, it is the energy of healing and kindness, and there's nothing better than that kind of love. So if you've been looking for a little bit of understanding and acknowledgement, it's coming your way. Or Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for the month of November, and we are looking at the Pisces health good, robust and strong kick ass kind of energy that's good yeah okay maybe that oh some of you may have gone to uh doctors in regards to something maybe some lumps or some some blockages or something like that that's what it kind of looks like and it looks like you're going to be given something or um, some idea of how to uh, remove it or reduce it or dissolve it and it does work out it might take a little couple of months for you to start feeling better but definitely I see that energy um, dissolving is the best way to put it and I do think that there's a part of your health regimen that does need to be considered uh, maybe you're maybe you're partying too much or maybe you're not concerned about the type of fatty foods or something in that nature you will have to look at and make a make another judgment call and uh, curb your energy in that area pisces sun moon and ascendant for the month of november for money 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 let's see what we got for money this is for money well, money isn't your favorite thing this month. Look at the first card I pulled. Crap. So it looks like you might be going through money like crazy and wishing the money would come back in some way. You don't, you, you have more money going out than coming in in some ways. Be mindful of that, but there might be something that you have to resolve. You have some major arcana cards here that speak of, uh, that's a world card and the justice card. It's you need to look at long-term management of money and investments in order to stabilize uh, a future, a long-term future. Because maybe there's some circumstances that haven't been fully thought about. Long-term energy is what I'm being told to tell you. And there could be some 
a legal situation or something like that that ha that needs to be let go of and not worried about. Okay. Uh huh. Let it go. Don't worry about it. Put no mind or money to it. That's what I'm being told. No more waste of money. Bottom line around money is if you you need to save it. You need to save it. You need to look at your rainy day. You need to look at investments. And that's what I got to say. Walk away from things that aren't. If you don't think you're making enough money in whatever it is you're doing, you're going to need to think about that and walk away from it or hand it off to someone else, something like that, and find your niche or find your area in your, in your creation that, where you can actually make money, okay? Find it, exploit it in some way, make it a big thing and love it, all right? And then it will bring you what you need.